hi guys welcome back to another nigeria entertainment news so before we get into today's update here are the headlines whiskey proved that he's a responsible father don jazzy call out nigeria government over coronavirus So before we get into all today's updates, if you're new here, if it's your first time watching me on the YouTube channel, you're welcome. Hit on the red subscribe button below and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Set it to all so that you'll be notified whenever I drop another interesting video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram with the username you've seen on your screen right now. Follow me over there. I follow you to back immediately. So without wasting much of your precious time, let's get right back into the video. Whiskey probably want his third child, Little Zion, to explain what it truly means to be an Africa. The Juro singer for some time has been spending quality time with Zion as he has been posting video of their father to some bonding moment recently. He even went on to gush about his amazing diaper changing skills and also about how he made beautiful children. In a recent video shared on Zion's official Instagram page, he was seen eating the popular Nigeria delicacy pandanyam and negosi soup with his dad. Fans dropped to his comment section to commend the singer for exposing his son to the Yoruba culture while others have gushed over Zion's goodness. I need to find out all the prices for like this is how this boy is on me every minute of the day <laughs> what do you think about his kid and his son zion let me know what you think about this in the comment section so let's move to other news music producer and even record boss michael collins Egeri, also known as don jazzy has blasted nigeria politicians over their failure to build an equipped hospital in order to provide better health care for the citizen his criticism is coming at a time that the number of coronavirus cases had hit 40 and two top personality in the presence of article son and president buhari's chief of staff abba kajari have reported tested positive for the disease coronavirus according to don jazzy in a statement he posted on twitter politicians have over the years been begged to build hospitals and properly fund the health sector but they refuse to heed pleas and requests and now they are forced to be treated in the dilapidated hospital as they are unable to travel overseas for treatment or seek medical help he tweeted build hospital build hospital now no here now you cannot go abroad Here's the tweet he posted. It don't just again to readers, build us B2, build us B2, in I know here. Now you cannot go abroad. Who is it? Oh, 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 oh. Stay here. Maintain your distance. I come bearing gifts. <laughs> okay. I come bearing gifts. Bring my harvest back later. See, Thank this you. is the latest method of payment. For if what? they're not paying you in life, so don't collect. <laughs> Nobody needs money again. This TV is free if you give us a cough. Make yeah. it give us cough. <laughs> I beg of you. Coronavirus! <laughs> okay, oh. I want to cut my hair. But man has to be. <laughs> man has to be prepared. Uh uh. You will keep. You will keep garden, sir. Keep garden. You see? Guys, stay safe, man. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Don Jazzy calling out the government, Nigeria government, over coronavirus and their inability to build hospital before the coronavirus. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section. So let's move to other news. Alakuli Chochi has reignited his long running feud with his estranged wife and the mother of his son, Tuntu Diki. Last night, the entrepreneur and philanthropist shared a video of himself taking part in the Stay Home Challenge, which is being done by footballers around the world. 
when not this phone yeah. just right guys in the video some other jokely say they adopted he was a 42nd man in bed as previously claimed by his ex-wife Tonto DK. One of the followers wrote and them say Baba no fit do pass forty second. Baba fit ten do. The father of one replied, No mind them, I won't need budget. A lot of magic care quack back. When you the enjoying he knew forty second. In another reply to one of his followers, Chochi wrote, No mind ye yet talk jaw. Before now my King Kong, my Mr. X, after separation, Mr. X no be Mr. X again. My King Kong turned forty second man. Here's the screenshot from the tweet and his replies. Yay! Next on the news. Ethereum actor Petty Dutch's son, y'all has opened up on his stand on men who kneel down to propose marriage to their women. According to y'all, he did not kneel down to propose to his wife after all. He says, I didn't kneel down because I didn't have to. My wife didn't ask me to kneel down and propose to her. I got married many years ago, 2004 or so. But I will tell you what I think about kneeling to propose. To understand, my father is right. It is not our culture. It is foreign. Did you kneel? I didn't kneel. Why? I, I, <laughs> I didn't kneel because, well, I didn't have to. I didn't have to. My, 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 my wife didn't ask me to kneel for me to, to propose. I got married many years ago, 2004. So very but it's actually no big deal. It is not that serious. Whether you kneel or lie down to propose, the woman who would leave you would. The one who won't respect you won't respect you. The one who will love you, respect you, and stick with you will surely do regardless of how you propose. My father is 73 years old. Much respect to him. But you see, he's speaking from his own era. To a large extent, the man is right. You know, it's not our culture. Yes, you know, it's it's foreign for people to kneel. But it's really no big deal. That's the truth. It's not that serious. It's really no big deal. Whether you kneel down to propose or you lie down to propose, doesn't it doesn't change anything. The woman who's going to leave you will leave you. The woman who doesn't respect you will not respect you. You see, then a young man who gets down on his knee to propose to a girl is not just an idiot, he's a bloody fool. The reason I'm saying this is simple, we try to copy white people. The white people man kneels down to propose to a girl, you know what it means, they get sick over the family. <laughs> That's why whenever a man disagree with his wife overseas, he would be kicked out and his wife would take over the house. If you call that civilization, it is alright, kneel down before your wife. And I will sympathize with you when it takes over the home. That yes, they got it right to some extent. There are also a couple of things that they didn't get so right that we're now trying to improve. Um, in one of my tweets, I think last week or two weeks ago, I said that for me, I believe the man is the head of the home. Okay, but women should not be seen as people to control or subdue. No, it's like a partnership. There's the my man is just like, okay, the, the, maybe the general manager and then the, the, the woman is like the MD of the marriage institution and then like that down to the children. You have to work with them, work with them. If you have a, a good wife or a good uh, partner, always work with him or her, okay? Relate your, uh, your ideas, your decisions, your view. Pass it by your woman. And if, if she's an intelligent person, you'll be amazed at the kind of uh, uh, um, impute you know, that, that she can bring to the table. Unlike, you know, their era. They lived in a time where, okay, it's all about what the man wants and how the man wants to do his things. You know, women should just be in the kitchen, like uh, our president said, you know. <laughs> women should just, but it's their era. Do you understand? Now things have changed. We've realized that it's not really the best. You can still, the, the way we can do these things. Women now, for me, for me, my views, women are not people that should be, okay, let's, let me, no, no. It's more like a partnership. It's more like a partnership. I've worked in, I've seen organizations that work, um, that don't have women in them. I've seen organizations that have men and women, and trust me, organizations that have women and men, you know, working together, it always comes out better. Because there are things that men don't know. There are things that we're not so detailed to see. Only a woman can see them. There are things that women can't see, only a man can see them. So by the time you put them together, they work together. So I didn't kneel. Final answer. So do you consider yourself a feminist? 
I hear feminism I have. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching my content from the beginning to the end and hearing your opinion in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do by clicking on the red subscribe button below and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Set it to all so that you'll be notified whenever I drop another interesting video. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And also click on the like button if you find the video interesting. Click on the like button, share the video with your friends and family on all social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram. And if you have any access to any group, please still share my video to those groups. Let's get this video viral. So see you guys in the next update. Peace.